Hi YouTube, my name is Evelyn, not my real name, but I'm a little sketched out about social media and putting my name out there, but I am starting this channel because I am about to join the Ostimate community. If you don't know what that is, let me explain. An Ostimate is anyone that has had a stoma or ostomy surgery, such as an ileostomy, a colostomy, or they're also the urostomy. I may not be pronouncing that right, um, but it's those people who live with conditions that cause them to get these surgeries in life like that. I am going to become one. I have asked so many questions and that is why I'm creating this channel for other people like me now, getting started, wanting to know the whole process because I will be walking you through everything because right now we're in pre-surgery. Surgery is on Friday, today is Tuesday, and we will be moving right along through surgery, recovery, and life after that. Um, I am looking forward to my surgery. It's gonna change my life. I am living with a chronic condition called colonic inertia. Uh, if you wanna know more about that, I'll talk about it in future videos or you can look it up. I'm not gonna try to gross you out in the first video, but I just wanted to kind of state my little welcome video and welcome you to my channel. If there's ever any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I am absolutely brand new to YouTube, so bear with me. I do have a light coming. I have some things so I can make better quality videos where the light's not overshadowed by my gigantic forehead. So it's just, I want there to be positivity. I want you to ask questions. I want to tell you about questions I've had and how they've been answered or things that I've learned on my own experiences. I am having an ileostomy for at least three months. I will probably be keeping it longer because I actually need a second surgery following this if it's successful, but I can push that back because my second surgery may or may not affect my fertility or my ability to conceive. And my husband and I just got married last year in September. It is April now. And we do want to try to have children of our own. So I'll hold on to that for a while. They say that there's no medical reason why I shouldn't be able to, there should be no risks associated, and there's no risk of my fertility being damaged with an ileostomy surgery versus my second surgery. I'll go more into that in future videos. I just don't want to bog up the first video too much, but um, if you have any questions, comment below. I promise I'm about to have surgery. I have nothing better to do than read YouTube comments, and I hope you stay positive, stay blessed, and just enjoy this as a resource, as a positive environment, an encouraging environment. I'll be posting resources that I use to learn more. People who have an ostomy now, who can tell you like it is, and the ups and the downs, and learn to laugh at yourself because accidents happen. But they happen in everyday life, in almost anything you do. So... I just want to help raise awareness about the situation that you are essentially living with an invisible disability that others may not know or comprehend or understand your your needs or your actions. But that's okay. You are not entitled to explain yourself, especially to strangers. Your loved ones will know what's going on with you and you don't have to explain yourself to someone else. That's something I'm already had to somewhat deal with and I haven't even had the surgery yet, but that's okay. I also want to help work in reducing the stigma around it. Your body is not graphic. Your body is not gross. It should not be censored in terms of stoma advocacy. And we can do better. We can reach out. We can help people like me right now that is a newbie. I Technically, I can't even say I'm a newbie. I haven't even had the surgery yet, but I've known the surgery was coming for a few months now. I've talked to a whole bunch of people. I've reached out. I've asked questions, and I have an amazing surgical staff and medical staff team behind me. Uh, shout out to MUSC Charleston. Uh, they are what's making this possible, and my sweet husband, who couldn't I could not ask for a better partner in life. I, he's so supportive and my family's behind me. And so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that and we'll go into more details coming soon. So I hope to see you soon. Can't wait to make more videos. Let me know if any of this helps or reaches you in any way. Make good choices and we'll see you later.